forklift and other powered industrial truck safety violations make OSHA's top 10 list every year. One type of forklift safety issue is the leading cause of forklift-related deaths, overturns. Learn how to prevent forklift overturns and how to hold on if one happens. Hi, I'm Dan Clark with The Safety Brief. We take on health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10. What causes forklift overturns? Turning, stopping, or pushing the go pedal too quickly, driving on an incline, an unbalanced load, driving with a load too high or a load too heavy for the equipment, uneven surfaces, and wet surfaces. How can forklift overturns be prevented? Let me give you six steps to head them off. One, follow the speed guidelines from the employer or the vehicle's manufacturer. Two, never raise or lower the load while you're moving. Three, don't stop suddenly. Four, take turns carefully. Five, when moving up or down a slope, go slowly and only move straight up or down, not at an angle. Six, keep the load low to the ground, only raise the load as much as you need to clear the floor surface. What should an operator do to stay safe? Wear seat belts and other restraints. Since 1992, new sit-down forklifts are required to have seat belts, and you can retrofit older models. What if an overturn occurs? Now, I remember this from my first day driving a forklift at a plywood plant, and it's great advice. The foreman told me, make sure to stay in the operator's compartment if something falls or the forklift overturns. Now, this goes against your brain, which says get out of harm's way, but the overhead guard will protect you. Get a good grip on the vehicle and lean in the opposite direction of the overturn. See, the overhead guard is usually the part that crushes the operator's head or body when he or she jumps or falls out of the operator's compartment. Do your best to stay inside. In a stand-up forklift, get away by stepping backward out of the vehicle if the tip-over is a lateral one. These procedures are endorsed by NIOSH. That's all for this episode, Six Steps to Head Off Forklift Overturns. Join me again for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's always changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10.